What's up everybody? It's your boy Frosty from the Skate 18 channel. So today I'm finally going to get into the apps. The best truck and apps that you can have. Or at least the ones that I use. And if you find some better ones, go ahead and feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I'll definitely maybe do a second video if you find some stuff that's worthy of me bringing up. But these are the seven apps that I use. Number one, Transflow Mobile. That's this thing, I use it because, I mean, why... Why go all the way to a pilot or have to take your stuff into a pilot to transflow it? You might as well just do it right then after you're done and you, you already did your empty call. You might as well transflow it in right away. Not only that, but this app allows you because it sends a Gmail confirmation to you. Therefore, you can go back on your go to your Gmail or your email or whatever you got, Yahoo Mail, and you can look and see exactly what you transflowed in. So if they're saying that you forgot to like send something in, you can actually go back and look. And see if you actually did it also if they bill you for a scale ticket or something like that that you know you transflowed in or maybe you forgot to put a PO number or they're saying that you can go back and look and see if that's actually the case and maybe correct it you know everybody makes mistakes so whatever anyway this is definitely a must-have app so number two is the EFS app I love this app this app you know our company uses EFS so uh, I feel like it's a must-have I use it to authorize checks it's way quicker than calling the number on the back of the card once you got an account and you're you just log in real quick go to register check boom and punch in the numbers real quick it gives you an authorization code you go pay your lumper you're done so also I like that you can link your bank account with this app and then all the residual payback that they've accredited to your smart funds account you can then send to your bank account that way you can avoid having to hit an ATM and just use your debit card or whatever you know so this is what some of the things I do number uh, three is the ADP app which is your paycheck subs our company uses ADP to do payroll so uh, you have to set this app up on an actual computer but once you've set it up it allows you to look at how much you've paid in for the year all that fun stuff see if they've actually billed you for something that they shouldn't have or you know all that fun stuff so that's a must-have as well I use that quite for quite frequently you know at least, at least every Friday so anyway number four is trucker path this app is an amazing app I use this one all the time uh, anytime you do your trip planning this will help you out you know if you got a 900 mile trip you want to go 500 miles away one day and then the other 400 miles or 400 miles and then 400 miles or you know and then another 100 miles however you want to do it you can break it up and you can use the app because it'll tell you as you click once you find your route you can click on the um, the little icon the pilot or the love or whatever and you, it'll tell you the distance you are at your current location away from this pilot or wherever you're going so you can look and see something that's 500 miles away and also it has the phone number to the different locations so you can actually look at, call them up and be like hey do you guys got reserved parking just in case you're gonna land there really late at night or you're in a spot where there's probably not gonna be a lot of parking you can reserve a spot and you can call them and then call the number off the pilot card or the loves or wherever and see if they have reserved parking so this helps you out when you're doing your trip planning um, also it tells you if there's showers laundry uh, how many spots are available there um, it also tells you if there's actually you know some parking spots available yeah you know, when you first click on the icon it'll bring it up it'll tell you yeah there's some spots or lots of spots or a lot is full whatever so this is a definite plus when you're trying to find a spot in the semi so I definitely recommend this app it also links with Google Maps so if you hit the directions you know it'll tell you how far away you are and then you hit the directions icon it'll link it'll google map you and it'll route you a little route to that exact location so you don't have to go find the address and then punch it into google map or whatever it is you can just do it right from right from the trucker path app so this is a plus so the next app google map i definitely recommend this one comes in handy you know you're going to want to follow the route that's assigned you via logistics of whatever company you work for but this definitely comes in handy because uh, with the Google map I like the street view you can go down to a street view and actually see where you're going so when you're going to like somewhere like San Francisco or San Jose or something where it's just not trucker friendly and other roads you know there's a lot of one-way streets and just loop-de-loops and all kinds of bullshit roads that are like 45 degree pitch so you want to avoid that you can uh, do the street view and kind of it'll help you to not you know at least when you get close to the shipper you can see actually visually pictures of 
how you're going in, to how you're going to pull in, do stuff you can look for, signs or whatever that might tell you that you're almost to the shipper or almost to the receiver or wherever you're going. So I definitely recommend the Google Maps. Um, I wouldn't use it for routing for that. If you don't have a truck GPS, you're going to want to use something like 120. It's O-N-E number 20. Now this app comes in real handy if you don't got like a truck GPS. Like I said, you can actually punch in. This is made for semis. So you can actually punch in how long your trailer is, how tall, if you're hauling a reefer or a dry van or whatever, you know, you can punch that in and it'll, it'll route you away from, you know, that changes your bridge clearance or whatever, all that fun stuff. So this will route you away from stuff that, you know, truck restricted routes and stuff. So it's definitely good. The only thing I don't like is it doesn't have the flip screen. So when you turn your phone on the side, it doesn't follow. It just stays vertical. So you're going to definitely need to get like one of the little phone holders or whatever if you're using this app so this is good until you get a truck gps um bringing me to number seven um which is the truck axle weight calculator now this is a cool little app i use it uh not too frequently but it's definitely used and what it does is when you come to a scale that doesn't do individual axle weights it just does your gross weight it's just one big scale so you have to pull your steers on first and then write that number down then pull your 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 drives on and then it just gives you the total weight of your tractor which is your steers and your drives you have to write that down normally and then you pull on get your gross weight and then do a bunch of subtraction to figure out what you got on your uh, steers drives and then tandems this calculator or this app right here does it all for you you pull up open the app real quick You'll pull your steers on, punch in the first number, pull your uh, drives on, punch in that second number, pull your tan you know, the full truck on the scale, punch in that number, and then it does all the calculations for you, kind of avoiding, you know, you messing up on the subtraction or whatever and having the wrong weight and then getting a scale ticket or overweight ticket later. So I definitely recommend this app. Uh, if you guys got any other apps that you guys might find handy or that you guys use, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. 